Are you in the club? Hey guys, welcome back to DCTC. Today I am going to be turning a regular old pumpkin into an adorable minion. This is a really fun project and you don't need very many things. So this is a pie pumpkin that I got at the grocery store. And then I just have some different colors of acrylic paint. I have a little minion to use as my guide. And the only other thing we need are paint brushes and a pencil. As you can see, I have already painted the pumpkin. Um, this was kind of the boring part, so I have our top yellow and the bottom blue for his overalls. And then you might be able to see just a faint line where I have started to sketch on the eyes. So some of the stuff I'll be able to show you, some of it I have to do while the pumpkin is sitting on my lap. So I'm gonna start with the eyes and I'm also gonna sketch on a little black band, just like that, around each side. Once you have sketched on the black band, like I have here, and if you have the eyes done the way you want them, you can start painting. I started working on the little band that holds the glasses on. So what I did is, and it's hard to do this on camera, but I just traced in where I had drawn with pencil, and you just want to use a very fine brush that's good for detail work. And I did the same on the other side. And then you just paint all of that in. And the next thing that I'm going to work on is the outer part of his eye or glasses. And unfortunately, I don't have silver, so I'm going to use gray for that. To make gray paint, I'm going to pour a little bit of white next to the black and mix that together. I don't want to use all the black because I'm going to need black again for the overalls. Okay, that should be about right. After you have your gray paint mixed up, you want to use that same detail brush and start working on your Minions goggles. After you have finished the goggles, then you need to draw or paint some little tiny minion eyes. So I need to paint the yellow white and then a tiny little brown circle with a little black circle with a little white dot on the inside. So that is what I'm going to do next. Step one, paint this white. Okay, here is one coat of white, and I think we need one more. So I think I need to let the white sit for a little bit so it's completely dry. And as you can see right here, I started some new sketching, and that is going to be the overalls. So I'm going to be painting the little overalls next. Now we have his overalls done, so we can go back to finishing the eyes. Next, we'll use brown paint, and I sketched some little circles so I didn't have to totally freehand it. And when I'm doing these types of things, I don't really try to be perfect. I think, you know, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay not to be perfect. I try to get close, but if something isn't exactly the way I want it, that's okay, I'm just gonna keep going. I think I might need to make my brown paint a little lighter. I added some white to my brown paint, and this is definitely better. And after this dries, we're going to do a black circle in the middle of the brown, and then a teeny tiny white little dot in the middle of the black. Okay, so I have the eyes finished and I sketched in a little circle. <laughs> and there's Lola. Oh, there she goes. Where are you going, Lola? So I'm going to paint the black part of the eyes. And then we will almost be finished. Okay, so all finished here. We're just going to put some details here and here, and then two little white dots, and we're done. These are, I think, these are the little buttons. 
like the overall buttons. Just a couple of things left. We need to do two little white dots and then paint a little design in blue right here. And then we're finished. Okay, our last step. I take a little bit of white paint, just a teeny tiny bit, and put it on a brush that is for detailing. I'm gonna do one little white dot right here, one little white dot right here. There was also one little detail that I had to finish, but I definitely could not paint that in front of the camera. It was too tiny, I had to hold it on my lap. Okay, so here it is. What do you guys think? I hope that you enjoyed watching me paint this minion pumpkin. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can let me know by clicking on the like button and leave me a comment and tell me who you would like to see me paint next. This is Amy Jo with DCTC. Thanks for watching. Another video, that's the end. Come back soon or we'll miss you, friend. DC, DC. We do toy reviews. DC, DC. And we play with Play-Doh, too. Skits, pranks, eggs and toys. We make videos for girls and boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right. <laughs>